What's going on guys? The new format is here. Rota is coming out this weekend in pre-release events. So a lot of y'all are going to want to know what the best deck of the format is going to be. And that's what I'm here for. So let's get right into it. I have this tier list right here. Uh, let's check it out. Alright. So, first and foremost, we're just going to order... Um, Sharks uh, is getting support in this set. I think, honestly, it's going to be a good, solid Tier 2 strategy. Um, maybe it proves me wrong. You know, Double Toad uh, is supposedly something that it'll be able to do. Um, so that's going to be kind of strong. Um, you know, we'll see. Labyrinth, um, this deck gets infinitely better in this format uh, because trap decks are, are very versatile in what they can do. They can adapt to any meta. Um, that's what I like about it. Um, branded as Amina. Um, you're going to see a lot of as Amina decks on here. And to be honest with you, branded as Amina is going to be rogue. You know, sure, we can put Omni Gate up and branded and do it under the fusion lock. But, you know, is that good enough? I don't know. We'll see. Um, branded Chimera. This deck is, it's rogue. Um, and I don't really have a section for just, just don't play it. Um, but Rogue is going to consist of decks that I would probably be hesitant to play unless they're just your favorite deck. Uh, Chimera branded, it's okay, whatever. Uh, Centurion, Centurion's best one paired with other decks, um, but it is a solid deck. It is a solid deck, and I think it's getting a little bit of support in this, if I'm not mistaken. Azamina Fiendsmith, I could see this being tier two. Uh, again, just like branded, uh, I'm sorry, Azamina Chimera. Azamina Chimera is another Chimera strategy that's just, you know, it's just Chimera with a little extra sauce. Um, Chimera Fiendsmith, Tier 2. Um, unfortunately, I think this deck does get a little bit more power crept, um, and I don't think it can use the Azamina cards as good as some of the other decks, but I think it does use the Fiendsmith cards as well as a lot of the other decks. Dark World, um, if we see a shift to more breakers, Dark World could be better. Uh, but I think it's still a solid rogue deck. Branded, um, I feel like it gets power crept a good bit this format. Um, again, the Azamina stuff is going to be a little crazy. It's going to be everywhere. You're going to have a lot of rogue. Um, so Branded can still shine, uh, but it won't. It will not top consistently this format. Runic, uh, any Runic variant, this format, um, it's going to be good. It's going to be, you know. It's going to be there. It's going to be there. And that's that's all I can say about that. So I would say tier two, any runic strategy is going to be viable. Dinos, no. It's just rogue. Unfortunately, uh, that's just where it's at. Dragon Link, rogue. Drytron, this deck's kind of crazy if it goes off, but it's rogue. Uh, Fire King, Fiendsmith. Uh, tier two strategy. Uh, same with Fire King as Amina. It's... You're basically just playing Snake Eyes, Azamina, Fire Kings. So you, you, you're losing out on non-engine, which is one of the biggest pluses to the Snake Eye deck, is the ability to play the game, you know, uh, with non-engine um, and actually combat other strategies. So I feel like when you make these pile decks, the ceiling is very high, but the, the floor is pretty low. Flew under Rees, as long as Shifter and Featherstorm are the game, they're there. Um... Heroes, uh, another deck that is just pr severely power corrupt this format. Um, and I don't see it getting any better until Supreme Darkness and the hero support comes out. We'll see. Uh, Cash Tira, solid tier two deck. I mean, really, it's a deck that it can play Shifter. Shifter's going to be good this format. Whatever. Fiendsmith Lab, another rogue option. Um, it's just... It's just not, uh, it's not it, you know. Um, so, anyways, it's just not it. Um, let's see. Um, Light Swarm. I'm a little, I'm a little biased on this, but I think this deck can actually do something. So, tier two, I feel like as far as the potential for this deck next format, it's there. Manadium is just a solid rogue deck. It has been for a while. Um, I don't really have anything to say about it. It's so neutered right now. It's lost every good card that it had as far as the extra deck. But yeah. 
Uh, Marincess. Marincess is a deck that it, it's it takes a good pilot. Uh, it's a deck that can play a ton of non-engine, but it just doesn't do enough. Um, similar to Melodious, I'm putting Melodious in Rogue. I know a lot of people would put it higher, um, and that's because I think maybe people are just a little biased towards it. Uh, but it's it's a really good deck. Don't get me wrong. I like the deck. I love the deck. But it just doesn't do a lot. Like, the end board is not that crazy. It, it's a little too fair. Uh, Fiendsmith Memento. Um, I, I'm going to be honest. This deck's tier 2. I know it's had some representation. Um, I know it's had some representation. But it's it's still... It's, it's still not as good as people make it out to be. It really isn't. Um, Mimigul. This deck will be rogue, even with the new support. However, you'll probably see more people playing it, so it will get some tops. Um, I can't even see. Uh, Magic, Mustic, Magic Musket Fiendsmith. Um, a deck that was really popular in the beginning of Fiendsmith uh, format. I think people just figured out that U-Bell is inherently better. So, you know, whatever you want to make of that. Uh, but it's still a good solid tier 2 deck in my opinion uh, as far as power level goes uh, Sky Striker Orcus this is one of them decks that's so annoying and it will just randomly beat you you know it's it's grindy it's really cool um, Horus Puppet Gimmick Puppet Horus which is I think the best way to play Gimmick Puppets uh, I'm just telling you right now if you don't have a hand trap in your hand and they go first you're losing that game you're losing that you're probably losing that match, to be honest with you. The deck's crazy. Pearly, uh, another rogue deck. Um, same with Rescue Ace. They're just a few formats back. Snake Eyes was the the golden child of that set, and which I say Rescue Ace and Pearly were not in that set, but they were the the big dogs in a god format. And now they're just um, a little bit power crept, but they're still very good. They're still very, very good. Uh, plants. Man, listen. Do y'all not know plants are actually good? Like, this deck's crazy. The inboard of plants is virtually unbreakable. It's just unbreakable. Uh, I mean, dark rule. It takes two board breakers at least, and you have to be able to set up a board. I mean, it's, it's just crazy. Ritual Beast, uh, we'll say tier two for sure. Um, and I can't even see, uh, runic. Okay, all the runic stuff, we're just going to put it in tier two. I'm just going to be honest with you. Runic stuff, runic sprite, um, it, it just, it can do stuff that is unfair. You know, it can draw three cards every turn, recycle, basically has like unlimited hand traps because it just keeps recycling them. Uh, as, well, I say hand traps. They're really just board breakers. But uh, the issue with the deck is it doesn't have a battle phase. So that's the problem. Um, Salomon Great, we'll say Rogue for sure. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't know if Salomon Great is in a really good spot. I mean, it's just a solid deck that can play a lot of hand traps. And it's kind of similar to Marensis. It's a little too fair. I mean, it does put up an Omni Negate, but it doesn't play through interruption that well. Sky Striker, pure rogue. I mean, it's probably not even actually rogue. Uh, I'm just putting rogue as the the bottom, the floor. With these are probably in order. Uh, we would say, yeah, I think this is a pretty good order. You know, maybe Melodious up here, but the Chimera stuff, Branded, uh, Azamina. You know, maybe branded at the top of Rogue. Flu. Yeah, I mean, these aren't in perfect order, but... Uh, Snake Eyes Fiendsmith. I don't think people will be playing this deck. Um, I think... You'll still see it, but people are going to be splashing it, so it's probably going to be Rogue. Uh, Snake Eyes Fiendsmith as a Mina. Uh, this deck will be... It'll be Tier 1.5. No, it'll be Tier 1. It'll be Tier 1 for sure. Um... Our first tier one pick, you know, it's good. Uh, Snake Eyes Fire King, I think you'll see this deck stay a solid uh, tier two. And maybe the Snake Eyes Fiendsmith version. 
1.5. You know, the Snake Eyes as Amina, uh, Fire Kings, not Fiend Smith. I'm sure you'll play Fiend Smith in it, though, too. I mean, might as well. I don't know how the extra deck's going to look. Sword Soul. I mean, they have the Protoss lock. It's Rogue. Tenpai Dragons, without a doubt, in my opinion, is going to be the best deck of this format with the Mulch Armies. Um, I don't know how you could really refute that. Um, Horus tier, it's just not it. It's one of them decks that a good pilot can take it to a regional and probably top or even win a regional with it because it's unexpected. Uh, Tempi Sky Strikers, this has really fell off a lot. I think it's just better to play it pure. Um, but as far as power level, you could definitely say tier two. Voiceless Voice, a very fair deck. It's a little too fair though. Um, but it's still solid tier two, this format. Um, the Mulcharmy, it plays around the uh, Mulcharmy uh, Fuoros pretty good. And it plays around Mulcharmy Perulia pretty good, you know. So, um, for the most part, especially the Dogmatica version. Um, I mean, it doesn't play around Perulia as good with the Dogmatica version. But nonetheless, it's not that, it's not that bad. Um... Snake Eyes as I mean, not Snake Eyes, but White Woods as I mean. Um, any White Woods stuff right now is going to just be good. White Wood Runic. White Wood Runic should be tier probably 1.5 this format. The White Wood stuff is supposed to get some support. I don't know if it's this set or the next set. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I just. I think that deck's actually kind of crazy. Uh, White Woods Runic. I mean, because it can. Dump skill drain, uh, get it back, uh, set it. It's like, what the heck? That's like so broken. Um, Fiendsmith U Bell, I think it'll take a nice little dump down here at uh, at tier 1.5 this format, uh, mainly due to Fuhr Ross because people will be main decking Fuhr Ross, and it kind of is it, it kind of kills this deck to be honest with you. It just really does. Pure U Bell, nobody should play that. I mean, it's just not even... It's still good, don't get me wrong, but nobody should play it right now. Um, I can't see these other three. Yeah, we're not even going to worry about them other three. They're just random rogue decks. Um, but yeah, um, this is my tier list. I know there's not much in the tier 1.5, tier 1. Um, but this is really what I think. I mean, I think this is... I mean, maybe you could say... Maybe you could say um, uh, Memento in 1.5, uh, but nothing else really. I mean, there's just nothing that's... None of these other uh, options are, are there really. I mean, it's just it's just really not. Um, uh, we don't have Mermel on here anywhere. Uh, that should have been on here. I think Mermel, um, I didn't mention that one, but Mermel should be pretty good. Uh, we'll just have to see. Uh, it can hand rip you, so yeah, you know everybody likes to be hand ripped, right? Hand rip for four, have a toad on board like to negate that one card in your hand. Uh, but anyways, uh, shout out to this guy right here, um, Samu Kovic for making this tier list uh, and letting people use it. Uh, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. Let me know in the comments, do you disagree? Am I nuts on some of these? I mean, I, I think I'm pretty in line with everything. And keep in mind, these aren't in order on these. Um, I would say these are in order. These right here are probably in order. Um, yeah, I, I would say this is a good order. Lab being like the weakest of the tier 1.5. Um... But the rest of these, like Tier 2 and Rogue, they're all just random. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.